I'm actually filming this before I film the intro or, or anything. I'm, I'm prepping everything to get the video ready to film and I pull the Revo out and I just get this, this big smile on my face. I'm just so excited to get out here and drive this thing around. I, re I really love this RC. I just wanted to, you know, I just get excited about it. You know, I just wanted to share that, I guess. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you everything I know about how to keep your tires on your RC car from flying apart and tearing apart like that i have been meaning to make this video for a while i just got around to it but um yeah i see people post all the time on like facebook the forums i see youtube videos sometimes about how people are tearing the tires apart on some of the rcs the Erevo 2.0 is a is a big one i see i see the rustler sometimes the x max the other rcs like that i have had these tires on my Erevo for two years this is a release day Erevo. i've had these tires for two years and i have not tore these things up at all so i'm going to show you how i have held on to these tires for so long and hopefully you guys can do the same thing and you can keep your tires for a very long time too because these tires are very expensive they're not cheap at all i know the x max is like what like 60 dollars for two tires or something like that they get really ridiculous in prices so you need to hang on to them as long as you can and i remember seeing people post videos this one dude he posted a video of the erivo when he first got the thing he drives it out in the yard he drives it like out in the road flips it over pulls the trigger all the way and it just tears the tire apart and he's like man this tire sucks these tires suck and it's like no dude you don't know how to drive your rc car they can't survive that kind of behavior just because an rc car can do something doesn't mean it needs to do something you've got to drive these things responsibly you've got to be smart with how you control these things and so hopefully i will you know show you guys how not to tear your rc car tires apart so why do tires fly apart well the short answer is the faster the tire spins the more force is put on the outside of the tire and it tries to pull that rubber out from the center of it and it throws it to pieces but it's a little bit more complex than that the area around the center around the point of rotation it is not moving very fast compared to the outside that's why in racing you see people go around the turns you go around the inside it's faster than going around the outside because the outside has got to go a longer distance than the inside does so if this does one revolution this doesn't have to move as fast as it does outside of here and that's important because once the tires start ballooning out and it starts throwing that rubber out what happens is the outside starts moving faster and faster so as you gain speed even if this is not spinning any faster the rubber on the outside is actually increasing in speed because it is getting out to a, a larger radius and that is what causes it to fly apart all of a sudden at high speeds so what you want to do is try to prevent that from happening if you can and try to keep control of it so that you don't get these ballooning tires way out of control. The first thing you want to do is inspect the outside of your tire. Make sure there's no space between the wheel of the tire and the rubber. If there is, just use some glue, tire glue, and put it down in that groove so that you can make sure that the tire is glued onto that wheel. That will prevent the tire from coming off of the wheel and that actually increases your chances of having a tire tear apart whenever it does that even after you have glued it and you have been driving your rc for a while check it periodically you know between runs and stuff like that and make sure that your tire is not actually tearing away from the wheel itself and you can see the wheels on the c revo they have got cracks you can see all that it's tearing apart right there look at that right there these kind of places right here put some glue in there and it will help Keep that tire from coming apart and right here you can see it is actually tore right there that piece is actually off of the wheel i'm going to glue that back together right there i've been driving it like that i don't know look at that so inspect your tires once in a while and glue that back together i know people say that you should clean all this and everything else i never do i've been running these same tires for the last two years they've been holding up and i've never once cleaned them before i glue them together if you want to clean them you can do that but i've never done it Another thing you want to do is not drive in water and sand and stuff like that. If you do, you can see there's holes inside. I don't know how well you can see that hole inside of there. This is off of a V1 Erevo. There's a hole right there. If you are going to drive in water or sand or something like that, you can put a piece of tape over that little bitty hole and it'll prevent water and sand from getting inside there. Once sand and water gets inside these tires, it makes them off balance. It makes them wobble. It can make your foam all move to one side. That's actually what happened in this one right here. I got water into it and I did drill holes in it to try to get the water out of it, but it just, it just never worked. And I actually blew this thing apart on purpose. I drove it down the driveway just to watch the tire come apart. And I bought a new set of tires for my V1 Erevo, but that's how that happened. I got water inside the tires. Once you get water inside there, it can be very difficult to get it out. I didn't have any success trying it with this right here. And that caused the tire to fly apart on me. One thing I've seen people do 
is they actually take a piece of string and they will go around the tire with it and tie it and it will prevent the tires from ballooning out and i've never done that because i can actually control the tires whenever i'm driving so i'll have you know issues with it ballooning and stuff like that but if you have a hard time stopping your tires from ballooning like that you can tie strings around the tires i know it's kind of weird and some people have success with it i've never tried it but i've seen that several times and if you can stop the tires from ballooning it will help you keep these things together longer now what i'm going to do is i'm going to repair the tires with this glue and then i'm going to get, get this thing out here and drive it and show you how to drive this thing so you don't tear your tires apart we're going to move the tire around try to find the places where it's coming apart at put some glue down in there i know some people are going to say i'm using too much but I've been doing this for two years with lots of success. Still using the same tires, so. This tire glue is basically some kind of super glue. So I know it looks messy and I do not care. Look at that. There we go. I'm gonna let that sit for a while. And then we'll run it. Now that the glue is good and dry, I'm gonna show you guys how to drive this thing so you don't tear your tires into pieces. As everybody knows, as you speed up, the tires start ballooning. So I didn't want to do it too much right there. But the goal is to prevent the tires from ballooning too bad. It's all in a matter of how you drive. So as you start driving faster, the tires will balloon out on you. Let's uh, jump down here a little bit. Yeah, you've reached high speeds. The tires are ballooning out. You can see a little bit right there. It's not so bad if you have something underneath the tires. It's only bad when there's no resistance to the tires. If you're driving and there's no resistance, that's when it becomes an issue. So, as you can see, when you start getting onto it, watch the front tires, you see them balloon up. And it's because there's no resistance to the front tires. And so you have to be aware of that. So if you're driving across the yard or something like that, and you're popping wheelies like that, just be aware of your tires and watch what they're doing. Don't let them balloon too much. So you just gotta have some trigger control. So whenever you get onto it, you're not just letting the tires balloon. See, so notice they do balloon some. But if you start popping wheelies, you get that front wheel off the front end off the ground you'll let the tires balloon too much and they'll blow up also when you flip your rc car over i know some people want to do that kind of stuff to it uh don't do it you see how the tires balloon out that's how that one dude blew his tires apart he ended up upside down like that and he just pulled the trigger all the way and the tires just flew to pieces when it goes through the air pay attention to what the tires are doing see how i didn't stay on it the entire time some people they'll jump and do flips like that and they will just pull the trigger the entire time and that's not what you want to do it really hurts the tires when you do that there we go so you have to stay on it once it gets in the air it starts rotating you can let off the trigger it's all about paying attention to those tires and especially if you are letting the tires come up off the ground like the side tires like this you can see how the inside tires are uh, coming off the ground. It did a lot that time. You can balloon your tires out like that and blow them in pieces. So you gotta pay attention when you're doing that. Ooh. Especially when you go up on two wheels. Lots of people, they'll put the car up on two wheels and they'll blow the tires out there on the inside because they don't realize the differentials are letting those tires spin really fast. I'm just having fun now. This thing's so much fun to drive. <laughs> Figured I'd go ahead and get the X-Max out too. As you can see the tires are balloon on this thing pretty well. I see a lot of people taking the X-Max and doing that and blowing the tires out. You can clearly see, let's see about how close I can get to it. Without running myself over. Now you see that? That is exactly how you will blow a tire apart. 
lots of times you see people try to go up on two wheels on these things. If you don't have the right differential fluid, you can't do it. I'm trying not, I'm trying not to blow my tires apart. Yeah, but see, as you start bringing those tires up, Now you start bringing those tires up on the inside, it'll, uh, it pulls them off the ground. And when you pull them off the ground like that, you lose all your traction and it causes differentials to spin those tires faster than, in, than the outside tires. And it will blow them to pieces. And also if you're doing wheelies with the X-Max and just picking that front end up, it'll cause those tires to balloon out and you don't want to do that. See, mine's, mine's geared low enough to where it actually has a hard time of spinning those tires up fast enough to where it would blow them to pieces. But some people have their X-Maxes geared, you know, differently so that you can really get those tires to balloon very quickly. So mine does it, but not too bad. As long as you don't stay on it, once they start ballooning, you won't blow them to pieces. But you still need to be careful because of that. And even if you're running at like top speed it's not so bad because there's still resistance on the tires but if there's no resistance on those tires it's going to tear them apart yeah, you see you can run them fast like that even let them balloon if your x max doesn't go much faster than what it does stock what is this thing like like i think like 40 45 miles an hour stock i believe with this gearing in it so it really doesn't run too much of a risk of blowing those tires to pieces unless there's like a tear or a rip in it or something like that. So as long as you're not, you know, you don't have holes and stuff inside your tires, you don't have to worry about it. And the X-Max, since it doesn't flip too well in the air, if you jump it, you can really stay on the trigger and have your tires balloon in the air. But some people would try to flip it or something in the air and they'll stay on the trigger the entire time. And so since you don't have any resistance while it's in the air, that's when you're gonna blow those tires apart. Ooh. Well, that's my secret to keeping these tires for so long, guys. I, uh, you know, I know some people are going to disagree. Some people are going to agree and I don't really care. That's what I've been doing for the last two years for this, these set of tires right here. And they've been sticking with me. They've been holding up well. These tires right here, I've had these for over a year on the X-Max. You can see where I glued these together in the past. And I know I did a bad job gluing together. I don't really care. Uh, it's not a big of a deal to me. Uh, normally stuff like that is, but for whatever reason, I don't care how the glue looks on these tires, just as long as the tires stay together. So if you just, you keep your tires glued to the wheels, you be responsible when those wheels come off the ground and they don't have any resistance to them, just don't balloon them out too bad. They will last you a long, long time. And you've, you've seen how I drive these things. I'm not super easy on them. I jump them high, I drive them fast. I do flips, stunts and everything else with them. And I, I still don't tear the tires to pieces. And uh, really the only tire I've ever torn apart is on my v one e Revo, and I did it on purpose because I got water in the tires, and I'm like, these tires are ruined anyways. I'm gonna see how fast I can drive them with water. Water. <laughs> I'm gonna see how fast I can drive them with the water in the tires, and it blew one of those tires to pieces. And other than that, I've never had a tire come apart. I did on my street cars back in the day. I used to run nothing but street cars, and uh, you would tear tires apart on street cars all the time. Those tires don't last long at all. At least mine didn't. But um, you know, I had gas powered, nitro powered rc car that was really really fast and i had a few of them and they would just go through street tires pretty quickly i was actually surprised when i first started driving those things they tear tires apart all the time but the revo the x max off-road rcs like this those tires last a long long time at least for me um but i hope that that you guys got something from this video i hope this has helped you you know learn how to drive your rcs better take care of your tires a little better so you guys don't have to come out of pocket for these tires they can be really expensive i don't want you you know spending all your money on tires for the revo driver 
responsibly, take care of them. They will last you a very, very, very long time. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for sharing them. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate it so, so very much. And I will see you guys later. Trying to get a shot for the uh, thumbnail. Let's see if I can get a good shot of this Erevo with the tires really ballooning out. I don't know how well this is going to work, but let's, uh, let's see if what happens.